This is your first official album or second? Yeah, this is the first official album. Tell me why the Donnie Womack and all that wasn't official. It was like a mixtape, and we kind of like rushed it, and we kind of like knew, you know, it was like me just getting my feet wet, you mm. know what I'm saying, kind of introducing myself in a way. What do you consider yourself? Do you consider yourself an artist where you kind of rap, but you kind of sing, or are you like, nah, B, I sing, B? I'm, doing. Mm, I'm an artist because I, I really like both, man. I like to get, like, you know, if you're hearing the album, I switch it up. Now, I really like that, you know, about me. That's kind of why I went with the Heaven to Hell Gemini type of two different split personality type situation because I really like both at the end of the day. So would you ever make a straight ahead R&B album? Yeah, I would. I Any would. plans for that? For sure, man. I got so many, so many of those laying around the bag, man. You know, that ain't I'll nothing. That's them, easy. I, I cook that up. So what's easier for you? An R&B record? I wouldn't say it's easier, but I catch I catch vibes. I like catching vibes when I'm making R&B music because I'll be like, man, it's so good. You know, it just yeah. keeps me going. When I make a like a, a rap, uh, a real rap type joint, I'm hugging on a beat. Like, I'm thinking hard. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah I want to yeah, say yeah. this. I want to say that. I'm coming a little different on the track. But uh, melodic is, just flows within me. When I heard this project was called Donnie Womack, yo, I got super hype as an old head. What? Super hype because it told me something about you being in touch with what you was delivering to the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I learned about you from no idea first mm -hmm. and then went backwards. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm, what, six months caught up now. I got hype. I started tweeting. Donnie Womack, I got <laughs> super fan. And yeah. you got a large fan base out there, too. Man. Very passionate fan base. Listen, man, that's all I want. been trying to build up, man. It's a real fan base that, like, can vibe with what I'm coming with and understand what I'm coming with. Now, why is your first name Don? Um, is that a real, is that like no, a? No, it's something, it's something I put on there. I didn't want to be nothing. You know, I didn't want to be a young or a little or nothing else like that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Don. And king. my last my, my last name is Tolliver. Yeah. So the king. The king. Don the, Don, the king. The the Don. There it is. The one now, in the cut. Are you a Bobby Womack fan? Have you Yeah, went? I was I, I kinda like a couple of his joints, but I really just liked how he dressed, his backstory, the crazy stuff, like and I liked it, the fact that, you know, he was kind of like a soul searcher Super, type of yeah. yeah, I like that more than anything. I'm more Marvin Gaye than Bobby Womack, but uh, Bobby already. Womack's a G. He's though. a G. That's why I had to like, nah, Bobby, Bobby Womack is it. Because it was kind of like my direction, how he was coming, the vibe. It just fit. Where should we start on Heaven or Hell? Should we start with uh, Euphoria? I think you need to go right to the intro. G. Oh, start with the intro. The intro. Tell me why. The Heaven or Hell intro, it kind of was like one of the last things I pieced together on the album, which is crazy because it's the intro. But it kind of was like that piece of puzzle I was missing. So you recognize, okay, this is qu not quite complete. It was not quite complete. And then I made that record, and I sat on it for about two weeks. I was at the camp. You know the Cactus Jack camp. Yeah. I'm at the camp. I'm locked in on that record, and then it just hit. Like, I need to put that, make that the intro. And, like, boom. Like, I played it through sequence a couple times, different ways. I was like, no, nah, this is it. And I was really just kind of telling the story. Like ever so slightly in the in that song to kind of open up where everything else leads to on the album. There's so much I want to talk to you about, but it's also like you're one of those artists. You're one of my favorite new artists. And I appreciate you, bro. Because um, a I hear what you've brought to the Cactus Jack total package, right? Mm -hmm. uh, B I love the fact that you're a songwriter and melody and all that other stuff, and I like your perspective mm -hmm. into the records also, like how you what you're talking about and just your angle on it. But it's almost like for the audience, I want them to just experience. Like, you know how sometimes like you feel like it's just too much talking? Like, yo, just play the record. Baby. Yeah. That's why I kind of like made it sequenced the way it is. So, you know, you just play it, just let it roll. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After party and to wasted and I can't feel my legs. <laughs> that that, that sequence? Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the pocket? That's a nice sequence right there. Yeah. Now, why did you put um, track four, five, six in that order? It's coming off the the vibes of uh, the Heaven and Hell intro, Euphoria, into Cardin, kind of leading you into the after party. From the after party, we wasted, and then you can't feel your legs. Yeah. And then it get to candy. Yeah, yeah. And then you got company. Then you got company. And then you had enough. Then you had enough of me. But I want you to stay. And ride in the spaceship. <laughs> What category, because categories still exist, mm -hmm. 
do you want people to associate you with as an artist? Is it I mean, hip hop? Is it R&B? Now, I think it goes together and I hate separating them, but yeah, sometimes I do they too. are separate. I mean, I be feeling like, you know, I need to just get the, enough muscle to make my own genre at the end of the day. <laughs> no cap. But I mean, if I was to say it's hip hop, it's a lot of like trap feel. Yeah. It's got a lot of uh, melodic vibes on there too. There was a time like the New Jack Swing era. Mm hmm. It, that was hip hop and R and B, like it was cousins. Yeah. The beats was hip hop. They was singing a little bit. Yeah. They was rapping. Mm -hmm. They was doing the whole shit. the whole thing. So I, I respect what you're doing too, man. Because the other part of this album that, from what I heard, I got to ride to it. I haven't rode to it yet. Mm -hmm. That's you know that's essential. That is. You know what I'm saying? Certain albums you work out to. Certain albums you got to drive to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's one of those albums you got to drive to. For sure. You know what I mean? On a date night, on throw a it on. Good date night, but bro. you can't. But you, you, this one of them albums, Don Tolliver. You can't be a passenger. It's can't be. It can't just be on an Uber. You got to be driving. This feels driving. like one of them joints where you're behind the wheel. Action. You know what I mean? You gotta like live in it. Facts. Tell me about Candy, bro. It was kind of a, a record I just wanted to make off of like a feeling that I caught when I heard that beat, and it just kind of flowed. Gave me like a. Gave me kind of like a Caribbean vibe, over the water type vibe, but I kept it in my own perspective of my own story of, you know, uh, what I was basically talking about in the song. Me right then, one girl just going easy on like a crazy vibe is really what to make of it, but. That's Wonder Girl on there? That's Wonder Girl. Yo, she's amazing, bro. What? It's crazy, bro. How many joints she got? How many? Is this the only joint from her on this project? Nah, bro. She's got like at least like six, seven, or eight of them. On here? Yeah. Yo, shout out to Wonder Girl, man. Shout out Wonder, man. For sure. And so, wait, how did that come? Have you known her for a while? Nah, I met her. The first time I met her was at the Astro World Camp. We had it in uh, Hawaii. From there, I just kept like, you know, she would send beats through and I'd just get on them and it just made magic every time. We wouldn't even think about it. It just like automatic. The joints me and her just cooked just. I don't know. It sticks to me different. Mm. I don't know. Sometimes I only be knowing this Wonder Girl. I'll be like, damn, that, that's Wonder Girl track? Oh, wow. But every time, it every seems time. like you're writing our joint. Easy. So how far are you mapped out musically right now? You talking two, three years already. I mean, I, I got I got an album in the can. I'm finna drop Friday the 13th. And, um, that's, I the got, the that's the Heaven and Hell joint. That's the Heaven and Hell joint. And I'm just having music, man. And in the meantime, I'm always cooking records, bro. I'm always in the studio, like, just trying to push myself to the next level so I don't stay in the box. Right. For sure. Yo, um, talk me into Spaceships featuring a little bro Sheck West. Man, Harlem, Spaceships. Harlem. Shout out Shaq, man. Shout out Shaq, man. One of my favorite records ever. It's like one of those joints to me. I just go crazy too. I made it in Hawaii, actually. And I just, when I did it, I just knew it was crazy. I just knew it was just like the way I was coming, the way I was sounds. Like I knew it was crazy. And I just kept it in the can. When it was time to, you know, piece the album together, that was one of the, my immediate choices for the album. You're in the studio, like you're a studio kid. You're in there working and writing. And as Travis, with the amount of hits and material he's made throughout the year, he like, yo, Don, let's build on this joint. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's collab. Let's, you know, whatever. Are yeah. you, you help with songwriting? Do you give ideas? Like, is that what the Cactus Jack environment is? I mean, with me and Travis, bro, it's just like, you know, he might do a song or something, be like, you know, jump on that thing. And it's just like that. And it'd be simple stuff like that. I might do something he might like, and he might. Just, you know what I'm saying, jump on it. It flows. Usually it's just we cook in the studio, and, you know, you know, hop on, hop on, you know. It's good vibes. What's the one thing you've learned from Travis? Man, a lot, bro. It's, I just, I study, you know, he's been here, done that. You know what I'm saying? So basically everything, man. I just keep my nose clean. <laughs> Stay focused. Focus. Yeah, super focused. Yeah. Do you live in L.A. now most of the time? Um, I, I'm in Houston. I'm still in Houston a lot, but I, I've been in L.A. for like a month or two. I'll probably get a crib out there for sure. But <laughs> yeah, because that's know, where work is at. Yeah, that's where work is at. But yeah. I'm Houston home for sure. For sure. You like sure. getting love, in the whip. I love, Let's go for a drive. Let's go for a good drive, man. <laughs> Pull up. Yeah, yeah. Turkey Leg Hut, man. Turkey Shout out to the gang, hut. man. Yo, did they fix the parking situation over at the Turkey Leg Hut yet? Because um, man, wasn't the neighborhood trying to complain or something? Yeah, no, they good, man. They sturdy now, man. It's, it's, the it's, community came together like, listen, man, we don't care what new people move man, in. Because it's going crazy, man. They, they mad at Turkey going crazy. They hot. <laughs>
I, I understand it. <laughs> they hot around that thing, man. It's going crazy around there, man. I pulled up there with Mama the other, uh, I think like last weekend, it was lit. Crazy. Out the door lit. You going out on tour with the weekend after hours tour, Sabrina Claudio's on that. How's that feel? Yo, the weekend's one of those guys out here. Yeah, he is. He's the guy. He is the guy. You know, that's going to be a big stage. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Heaven and hell going let me float, set me free, OG. You got the look? You got the look where you know how you, you what you presenting to the fans, how you going at it just yet? I know how I'm trying to give it up on stage as far as, you know, the way I'm trying to give it up. But, you know, um, I'm going to get it right. I got a couple of festivals. Uh, I got my own little show run before then. So I'm going to be real ready and prepped. Yeah. Will's ready for that. Greased. <laughs> ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, man. So after you tour with um The weekend, things are going to be crazy. The No Regret with Eminem caught me super off guard. Right. When that Eminem album dropped, because remember, it dropped out the blue. It did. When I saw your name, I got hype. <laughs> I got super hype. It was one hype. for the OGs. <laughs> so how did it happen? Did you have the record and was like... No, he they, sent it. He, so he had he the... He sent the vibe. And you just plugged in your zone. No regrets. Now, when the phone rang and you got the call, do you remember where you were? I was in the Cactus Jack studio. Oh, so you was on deck. I was a gang, and I was recording, so I got that whiff of that, and we flipped that on and did that quick. How were you on M's radar? Was Did somebody else put you on his radar? Like, how did, um, how did that happen? I think, really, you know, to be crazy, be 100% honest, I think M was already on tip of, like, what I had going on, but... Who really, like, I think plugged the spot was D.A. got that dope. Mm. No cap. He was like, is he hit me up? Like, hey, me and Emma here right now. We need this right now. I was like, what? So he was probably like, yo, I got somebody for this. Yeah, type situation. That's how I feel like, And too. how fast did you turn that thing around? Fast. By Less an a hour. Day? By oh, an wow. hour, two hours. <laughs> and we was, and then from there, we was critiquing it. Amazing, man. Yo, that's he dropped it like the next day or two. Like, so in the, in the course of 24 months, you have a Grammy nomination off of Astro World. Yeah. And an Eminem record. Yeah. And no you're idea. going on tour with The Weeknd. Yeah. No idea hit what on the billboards. That joint jumped top 25 or something, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, it went up there. So, and that now, voice went up too. No idea just went gold. All blessings to God. Wow. Congratulations, man. Yeah, man. That's a blessing. I can't wait to get that plaque. Needed platinum after the album drop. We're going to talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. We'll get, get there. there. Slow grow. Slow grow. You know what I mean? Do you think people have actually, that they hear that you're bringing something new to the game? Yeah, I feel like when I, when I talk to a lot of people that don't know, my, my voice stands out every time. Like, yeah, this ain't nothing I never heard before. Don Tolliver, okay. Makes sense. Right. That's how Because even is. if you're on a, a track with Travis Scott or you're on a track with... You know, offset like you said, you don't sound like anything else moving out here. Yeah, man, I try to make sure I'm in that pocket to where you, you know who I am for sure. You venture out on some tracks and records that ain't necessarily in the Cactus Jack branding, right? Like you go out on some different sounds, right? Right, one hundred percent. How how was uh how was that to get across when you wanted different production and pushing Mike Dean and gang is all with it. Travis love it. Gang love it. Push the limit. Push the limit, dude. You like, you go, Don. You know what I'm saying? That's how you look at it. Get it. Yo, man, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Man, I appreciate you. Yo, man, it's a journey. I Hopefully, I get to see you many, 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 many more times, man. Man, you will, bro. I'm at you. You know what I mean? Keep, just keep going and, and um, just keep making great music, man. You'd be surprised how, you know, much of a, 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 of a, a glorious, balanced, healthy life you can have when you just focus on making great music and telling great stories, man. Man, that's you all know. I'm trying to live for right now, G. Yeah, just keep going, man.